Hello everyone, I'm Wanda Curley and this is a brief introduction of me as a person, as a professional, um, as an author, and where I want to go to in the future. So me as a person, I have been married for 35 years and they've been wonderful 35 years, but they have been also hard work. And that is my personality um, in everything that I do, that I do hard work to get where I need to go. I'm also a mother of three. I have two boys that have graduated from service academies, and I have a daughter that is a, uh, in Army ROTC. I'm proud of every one of them. From this, you can see that there's probably service in my family. Um, I'm an individual that gives back to the community and gives back to my profession. I enjoy mentoring individuals. That's part of giving back to the community and to my profession because I do it at both levels. I also volunteer. I volunteer at the Project Management Institute that gives back to the profession that I'm in. And I give back to the Red Cross um, by donating blood. I also was an emergency medical technician for over 30 years as a volunteer. I also am in academia where I uh, work as an uh, adjunct professor. I don't do it for the pay. I do it because I love seeing what's happening to our, our new folks in the profession. I learn as much from them as they learn from me. I'm a person that strongly believes in service and loyalty, and that drives my ethical and integrity that I have. And I show my ethics and integrity in all aspects of my life, whether it's profession or whether it's personal. And I drive that into my uh, children as well and anybody that works for me. From a professional aspect, I started in the Navy. Uh, unbeknownst to me, the Navy was starting me out for project management. Uh, the little jobs that they give to junior officers are all basically project management aspects. So I learned project management without even knowing that it was project management. I left the Navy uh, and entered into Fortune 500. I've worked for AT&T, NCR, Deloitte, and Hewlett Packard, just to name a few. During those times that I was working with uh, uh, those companies, I was in the area of management operations. In other words, I did project program and portfolio management. I currently do all of those as well. It is something that I am driving towards a goal and a focus. I think I love that because I can see the end point and I know that I'm delivering something that is going to drive the industry, drive um, people, focus people, and make people grow. It's an exciting industry that we live in and an era, and I'm proud to be in it because I want to know where the Internet of Things is going to drive us. Are we all going to be chipped? Well, maybe. Uh, it would be great if I were in a car accident and I was uh, out cold that this little chip would give it all of my medical information if necessary. Currently, a lot of individuals chip their dogs and their animals just in case they are lost to help them through. So where will the Internet of Things take us? Not only for us, but maybe the military and all the little things that we have in our our offices and in our homes. How do we make wireless internet an integral part of everybody's life? It can't be just for the, the few that have the money, but it's got to be for everybody, starting with the kindergartner. Um, they've got to learn how to use the internet and, and the wireless and use it respectfully with ethics and integrity. Um, this drives to digital democracy. Where is that going to take us? Does government need to be involved? Is that something that industry should do? Um, digital de democracy will drive the wireless internet and it will drive internet of things. Um, I'm proud to be a part of that and want to help drive the industry in that area. We all have a duty to drive um, all these items ethically because without ethics and integrity, th this won't happen in a good way. So whether through marketing, marketing tech aspect or an individual operations for internal companies, it, it's, it's imperative that we all do this. So from that aspect, I, I do like to author things. I have several books out there. I usually look at what's trending and what are new aspects of what's going on. 
So a couple of my books have been on virtual project management offices, on complexity theory, not just a complex project, but actually taking complexity theory and applying it to programs and projects. I've written on communications at the portfolio and pro program level. And I also look at what's coming in the business. So right now I have a paper that's been submitted to the Society for the Advancement of Management, and I'll be presenting it here in a few weeks. And it's on situational awareness. Those of you who have been in the military understand what that is. Um, for example, a fighter pilot needs to know his, his or her situational awareness. Um, do I have bogeys or the enemy coming into me? Do I have other fighter pilots that are going to hurt me? Um, are they behind me? Are they in front of me? What are my rules of engagement, etc.? This is slowly coming into the business world. Um, we as professionals and as executives within business need to understand the situation. We can't just hone in on our little um, cosmos within our company. We have to understand what's going on, what's driving the industry, what's driving us. And that's what I look at when I'm offering things. So what am I focused on? My focus is to drive our digital era into something that's um, an ethical, uh, an easy, and an, the way of the future. I'm excited to be a part of the future. I want to be a part of the future. And I'm hoping that through volunteering, writing, and through the jobs that I I'm pursuing and do work at that I can drive what the uh, industry will look through in the next 10 years, maybe five years, 20 years. I want to be a part of that. Making a difference by writing on these topics is also another way that I want to drive the digital era and how people will, will react to the digital era. Will it be something that we all want? Will it be something that we don't want? I know maybe some of you have seen the trailers on Chappie, the movie. Um, is this something that we want for our future? Chappie, the movie, is about uh, robots that now can think, that have artificial intelligence. Is this something we need to look at? Um, it's all new era for us. So where am I headed? I am headed to help drive new industries struggling groups that need to have processes and procedures uh, developed into their organizations, but not without um, stamping down their entrepreneurship, because that is necessary. We have to be flexible. We have to react. So processes and procedures are there to protect us and to pre protect the company and to drive where we're going. Let's face it, no company, uh, no matter how much funding, uh, whether it's a government, whether it's private industry, has an unlimited checkbook. So with these processes and procedures, we can drive the company to an end state, a goal. What is it that they want? And I know how to do that. I can be a chief program uh, process officer. I can drive um, all of those things for a company, and I'm looking forward to that next step. 